Yes, my name is Delphina Nova, and I'm with the Algonquin Nation of the Turtle Clan. I want to share a dream that I had a year ago. This dream, I feel it's very important that it be shared right now to the world. Um, today is September the 10th, 2012, and I am feeling that it's time to share it publicly to the world. The dream that I had was that I was flying around the earth in my dream, and in the form of an eagle, of a, a huge bird. And as I got closer to an area, I saw that there was a huge line in the earth. This looked like a huge fault line. The fault line was miles deep, and it went to the very base of the United States of America into Baja, California. Baja, California, that went through the Sea of Cortez, up to the Sea of Cortez, and on this line going all the way up to Los Angeles underneath the Fuente fault line. I looked at the fault line and on the fault line in the dream it said 7.8, 7.8, 7.8. At that point in top of it it said imminent and the also there was a number. The number said 11 and I believe that to be the 11th hour. Now, I don't know when this is going to happen, and I know that many people have also have had dreams and concerns of the San Andreas Fault. But what happened later was also, um, also a warning. I had a, it's like a, a bird that put its arms around me that had feathers, but it turned out to be an angel, Archangel Gabriel. I asked the angel, what its name was, it said Gabriel. I asked the angel if this quake could it be stopped. And the angel said, no, it cannot be stopped. That it was part of the destiny of this country. I asked the angel then, why is it that you have told me this dream? Because I'm quite sad on seeing this if we can't do anything about it. And the angel said, you must now prepare the people when it is time. The second part of the dream, I am in the Sonora Desert in the United States in Tucson, Arizona, and there is water everywhere. I look up and there's, there, there is a grandmother, a grandmother abuelita who is in the bathtub, and water is rising really fast in the bathtub. I ask grandmother, what is going on if you turn the tap on? Why is the water coming out? And she says, I haven't turned the top on. The water is getting higher and higher and higher. Go talk to David. Tell him to help me to turn the water off. I go to see her son in the dream. And her son says, I, I don't know why the water is rising. At which point, I decide to go to the door. I go to the door, and there's, I open the door, and there's water rising in the do right, right outside the door. I close the door, I go back to see the grandmother, and she says, David cannot fix this. And at that point he puts his hands in prayer. I hear another kind of tap on the door. I go to look at the door, I open the door handle, and there is a little creature. And the creature is a little hedgehog. So I look at the little hedgehog and I said, what do you need? He said, quick, quick, let me in. Water, water, everywhere, water rising. So I shut the door, I let him in, and then the hedgehog said, this is a message. This is not a dream. I'm here with three warnings before the quake happens. One will be that sensitive children will suddenly feel very faint. Elders will also feel very faint. Many people will not be able to withstand the energies and they will suddenly faint and some people will, will pass out. The second will be that many people who have animals in their own houses will start to look at animals and see that they're doing very strange things, that they have very strange wild behaviors that they have never been doing before. The animals will try to get the people's attention. Also, wild animals that are not from your area will come into your area in order to wake the people up. The third stage water will begin to rise all over the world. The last stage is that water will rise in the Sonora Desert of the United States of America. 
near Tucson, Arizona, and then the quake will happen. I looked at the little hedgehog, and I realized it was a messenger, and I thanked the hedgehog. And then I said, but what am I going to do with you? And the hedgehog said, just pick me up, I will go into your hand, and I will roll myself into a ball. I will be at least a little prickly, but put me in your pocket. And when it is time for me to share the message with the world, you are to tell this to the people. I am sharing this prophecy with you through dream. I am a come from a family of dreamers of the Turtle Clan. It's December the 10th, 2012. It is time. Miigwech. Aho.